everybody, you ready for Wonder Woman? Stay tuned, watch the whole video. Hey everyone, it's Sarge here um, with uh, Sergeant Digital Design, back again with the new one. Um, in this video, uh, I painted Wonder Woman uh, designed by Zez Studio. Um, first, I 3D printed her on my Intercubic Photon M3 Max and my Uniformation uh, GK2. <clears throat> it took uh, about three uh, three days between both um, printers and then post-processing was done with sandpaper, um, a Dremel, uh, um, a cordless uh, e-file for, for nails, and then um, uh, the paints consisted of mostly of uh, miniature paints by Procryl, uh, Vallejo, Citadel, uh, Createx, and uh, Craft Paints. So let's get into this and uh, stick around to the end and um, we'll uh, see how um, you like it. All right, let's start off with some uh, prep work using uh, some sand blocking and my um, Dremel and all the tools that were necessary to put this thing together. Now, I started off by uh, using a base black primer uh, by Citadel, then proceeded with a Zenithal uh, primer. Um, once this um, dried, then I went over with a, a purple um, base coat. You can see that the muscles are starting to pop already with the Zenithal. She's very detailed, very muscular. Okay, so now I add the purple and that's gonna make the, the muscles pop and, and, and give the skin, skin tone something to bite to. This is also a primer also. I could have just went with this, this primer as my underlay uh, and, and not base, done base, anything base, other primer. Base, base, but I, I just like to do the traditional uh, primer um, with the Zenithal again, the under, uh, the under uh, layer. All right, at, now that it's dry, um, I go on to my um, Vallejo uh, skin tone. Sometimes I'll mix my own, but I just use the, uh, the base skin tone. And it, it works out pretty good because she's not pale and she's not super dark. She's like, uh, she's Amazonian, so she's kind of like in between. But I think that's a good base to start out with. Next, I'm hitting with the uh, low lights with that darker brown, and you'll see that the muscle detail is coming in just a little bit um, better. And now a lighter shade for the uh, highlight. And that's just a mixture of, of pale white and um, the skin tone. Now that that's dry, let's go with a blue wash to bring some of that brightness back to the skin and bring color back. Put some life into her uh, skin. Once that dries, then I wipe it off um, the excess so there's no, no splotching. And, uh, then I hit it with a yellow. Be careful. I found that when you use a matte varnish, 
um, instead of a, a satin varnish, uh, it, the, the, it tends to bite to the, the color and it'll hold on to the color in some of the um, like un, uncured um, areas and you'll you have splotches. Sometimes it works out for you, you know, you can recover with a dry brush. But um, for the most part, I, I would use a, a satin finish. Not a gloss, but a satin finish. It's like in between matte and gloss. Now I'm going with my yellow wash. And it's bringing out the brightness to the skin again. dab that off and next I'll go with my freckling so I'll take that red wash that I'm gonna go back later and, and wash her once I seal her and I'm, I'll spray with my um, my brush and just get some um, freckling in. now I'll go back with the um, once that's dry I go with my um, my pale skin and my um, regular skin base and go over that just to uh, the softness back into the skin. And then once that's dry, then I'll go and, and do my own, my dry brushing. <clears throat> now with dry brushing, um, you gotta make sure that everything is completely dry, uh, so that when you go back and do the um, dry brushing, um, you don't. You don't get any um, clumps uh, and, and um, little little raised areas that that come from you know you not being ready for um, for paint. I've seen that with myself, and I've seen that with other artists. And sometimes it drives me crazy seeing that, but uh, <laughs> we don't catch everything. So here I'm going at, with the um, a peach uh, skin tone. And, uh, going over those low lights again and get the striations in the muscles in that jawbone and under her um, eye, eyebrows. Now, once I got this uh, skin to uh, my liking, then I go and, um, and hit her with a, a, a wash. And here I'm using the Pearl Creole Skin Wash. It's pretty good. I, I love all their paint. They have some of the best paint there is. Um, you can put it right in the airbrush and it sprays right out. No thinning. Make sure you hit those cheeks. Those teardrops on the uh, squads. Low light, effect, yeah, highlight affecting. Just to uh, bring the darkness down a little bit and bring some light, some overhead um, lighting to her face. Uh, OSL. And I, I'll do that to her, her face from above, hit her shoulders, the, the top of her muscle bellies, so that they just, just pop. And then go over it uh, with another wash to get. The dark tone under the underarms and, and around the breast area that meet the, the chest plate. Now let's dab that stuff off. Make sure there's nothing left on there that's gonna cause uh, watermarks or anything like that. And like I said before, you can recover from watermarks uh, uh, simply repainting over it or just dry brushing over it. It's your choice. It depends on how much the damage is done also. Just 
adding some pink life back to that face. With that that pro acrylic wash. It's got some red in it, and, and it's mixed with like a red and a brown. I'm going over this skin again because it messed up a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Because a lot of it's <laughs> not on film. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So <laughs> we all make mistakes. So here I'm going back and dry brushing again. I'm getting it right. <laughs> bellies again and the breasts see those veins popping out of there this one is awesome these sculptors are amazing I wish I could do that I can do it by hand now but um, who wants to these days when you got 3D printers I still like to do traditional art too. I, I, I keep buying um, materials to start uh, maybe a painting or or a drawing. So I gotta do something. I, I gotta get inspired. I, I am kind of inspired by my grandchildren. Maybe I'll just do something uh, with them on it. Make sure that your um, Dry brush has a little um, moisture to it so that the paint isn't chalky looking. Now, I believe I got this to my liking. It's time to move on to. Uh, make her face um, look alive by adding a little um, pink to the lips, to the nose area, the cheekbones, and the eyes. This technique here, I use a little bit of dry brushing with my, my small, uh, my zero. Um, that's one of my favorite paint brushes. You know, I go back and blend it the two colors together. It's almost like painting an uh, actual painting. I think they kind of got this to look like Gal Gadot a little bit. Um, you guys tell me. I think she kind of looks like Gal Gadot. She's like a cross between Gal Gadot and the comics or animation. But um, I use the um, I use the comic book version of um, or, or the animated version for her eyes because I know Gal Gadot's eyes are brown. I think. And uh, this Wonder Woman usually has blue eyes, black hair with blue eyes. I hope y'all can't hear my dog snoring. 
I'm recording this at uh, like 105 in the morning. And I have a Boston Terrier. She, she snores heavy. All right, let's dry that up. Sorry, that's out of a uh, picture, but I hit her with some blue. Now the details on the face. Uh, doing the headband, I've done the eyebrows. Details with that, her, the rest of her eyes. All right, a little bit more dry brushing to bring that all together. Like I said, make sure that skin is dry so that, and the paint is dry so that everything just peels off. You wouldn't believe how much uh, I had to go back and sand and, and, and take toothpicks to, to pick up high spots that um, that I messed up on. So now what I do with the um, her her armor, her clothing, I hit it with a gold uh, underlayer because you know everything she has is pretty shiny. And um, you can tell that it's made from some serious uh, heavy gold or, or brass. Paint the, the chest plate to make it easier so I don't have to mask it off. Just being lazy. Not really lazy, but taping and masking off is a, is a tedious task. Ask the creative collector about that. <laughs> and shout out to Henry uh, from Creative Collector. He always shouts me out on his live uh, videos. I really appreciate that because every time he does that, I get a few more subscribers and um, people start watching my videos. So I, I do owe him tremendous thanks. He's a good guy. I've talked to him uh, uh, on, on actual video where we're going live. And um, he's, he's, a really, he's a really nice person. Great artist. I, I, I'd like to uh, get my skill level to where he is um, or close to it. Uh, he, he has inspired me since I've been in this um, 3D painting uh, sculpture game. Uh, started out looking for you know who's doing skin tones and who's doing incredible hooks. I found I found him and I found, found my man Tony from Greedy 3D. I was just looking around trying to uh, find some inspiration. And um, I don't really deal with uh, ground affected anymore because of some personal um, things. But I'm not going to say that he wasn't um, an inspiration uh, because I, I stayed on this channel to, um, to, to, to get fed. Now it's time for me to feed others. All right, the base, I'm just going <laughs> with a, a, a brown, and I'm using um, colors that I bought at Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby, these are just, just um, craft paints. Uh, a lot of craft paints are made by uh, DuPont, so it's not like this is junk. It's just it's just cheap and, and bargain brand. Uh, some of them I got at Hobby Lobby for twenty nine cent on the clearance. So twenty nine cent goes a long way with one of these bottles, vice uh, one of these um, small dropper bottles that you get from from the high-end companies. Uh, I would do wish that they would cater a little more to, you know, guys that are painting um, sculptures because these aren't, these aren't um, little tabletop uh, minis. Uh, th these are the big boys and we require a little bit more. And that pigment, pigment needs to uh, be um, a little bit stronger um, for something this uh, size and magnitude. 
just saying, it'd be nice if they would uh, cater a little more to people that paint quarter scale sculptures and things like that. Because, I mean, those bottles they don't go far. You end up making your own colors just to, to make do. Good thing for airbrushing, you know, you know, airbrushing and thinning paints out, you know, it goes a long way in airbrushing. But for painters, if you can paint brushes, yeah. Do some craft paint for your base. Now that that's uh, dry, I'm doing a, um, a black wash. Giving those uh, creaks and crevices, all the cracks and broken um, pieces. Those get the dark wash first. Then I'll go back with uh, a brown wash that I made uh, for um, my Luke Cage um, um, sculpture that I did. I made a whole lot of um, wash and it's gonna go uh, pretty far. I actually put it in a, a jug right there. And then wipe off the excess and look what you got. So when you go back and hit it with a um, dry brush, those are gonna actually look like stones. I don't know if that garment was leather or, uh, or satin or anything, so I just painted it uh, to look like leather. These people had money back then. <laughs> um, but here I go with the dry brushing, and you can start to see uh, that the stone is looking like stone. Now the hieroglyphics are just popping out of the um, different uh, rocks. Once again, shout out to Zed Studio. They're just great. My top three is is Wicked, Zez, and CA3D. All right, now that wash is done, let's do the blood splatter. I'm using uh, blood, the uh, Slaughter Red from um, Speed Paints, and, and they really live up to their name because every time I do a splatter with this color, it looks gruesome. <laughs> I didn't put any on the um, Wonder Woman because I want her to look pure, but. Um, She does kill. Superman doesn't, but her and Batman will kill somebody else. <laughs> All right, let's do some um, highlights uh, on her hair and wrap this baby up. So this project, it was a few um, few months in the making. Um, it was pretty fun to learn on um, because um, I made a few mistakes, but you go back and you can always fix them. You don't always have to take it back down to, uh, to zero. 
this is a, a pretty fun project, like I said. Um, and, um, like I said before, um, it was made by Zed Studios. They're one of my my preferred Patreons that I subscribe to. Them, CA3D, and my favorite is Wiki 3D. They're, they're top notch when it comes to rendering models to comic and, and movie perfection. Definitely recommend them um, all if you can afford it. Now that now that I'm in the YouTube creator community, I've started my own Patreon. If you'd like to help support me and, and keep me printing and, and painting projects frequently. Just throwing that out there. Um, I'm not posting it on here yet because I want to um, pay a little more attention to my Patreon that I started. I started a few months ago. I don't have any subscribers um, or members, but um, you can be a member on um, YouTube now that I'm in the, um, the, um, the program. You can be a member on here um, and do super chats if I, um, if I go live. Still trying to figure out everything I want to do. Uh, I'm a few hours from being um, um, able to receive um, money from ads. So, yeah, it's all new, so I'm just figuring it out and getting advice from other people that are already here. But stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll have it figured out like, in the next uh, few videos. Finishing up uh, her dry brushing. Getting the things that need to pop, pop, and fixing blemishes that need to be taken care of also. A little light on that booty. All right, Wonder Woman, you're taking up enough of my time. Let's dry you up and get you spray tanned. And I'm here, I'm going with a, um, a matte finish. So before I did a, um, a satin varnish, and here's a matte. I will go back with my airbrush later and hit all the, the glossy parts. Uh, that should be glossy with um, some gloss paint. All right, here's the final results. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for the commentary. All right, thanks to all who uh, supported me by simply subscribing for free. Uh, I have a few exciting projects coming up soon while um, I'm also preparing for Tidewater Comic Con. Um, uh, come check me out if you're here uh, that weekend of May 18th to the 19th. And thanks again for watching this tutorial and helping uh, me make uh, my um, dreams come true. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the like button share and uh, comment also uh, hit me on instagram at derek sergeant underscore uh, TikTok at dsar 74 and uh, facebook at derek sergeant senior and then uh, you know every little bit 
helps. And I appreciate everyone that's sticking with me and like my art. And I promise you I'll keep more coming. Thank you. And till next time, my friends.